Well, as you know, recreational marijuana sales will start in New Mexico in just a few days. Tonight, Albuquerque City Councilors met to talk about enforcing where people can use it. Action 7 News reporter Angel Saucedo is here with what they decided. Well, Doug, today's debate was focused around the Albuquerque Clean Indoor Air Act. Now, the act is designed to control where tobacco is consumed in public, but some city council members believe we need to tighten regulations on marijuana use as well. All those in favor, raise your hands and say yes, yes. Consuming marijuana in public is illegal in our state. And that passes on a uh, five, two, three. But today, Albuquerque City Councilors couldn't decide on a bill that would allow Albuquerque police officers to enforce that law. There's already a state law that says that you can't smoke cannabis in public. I think it's very, very important that we have a uh, law that we can enforce at the local level. They voted to defer the decision until the next city council meeting. And I really don't think that we need to be creating additional tools for punishment for smoking a completely legal substance. It's about safety. It's about doing the right thing for not only just the cannabis distributors, but also for and you, the people that use cannabis. Now, the city bill wouldn't add a second penalty onto state law, but counselors in favor say it would allow for additional oversight on what is already illegal. I think a law is a law is a law. And if we're going to have allow public consumption um, of cannabis, we'd better be careful how we do it. Cannabis business managers like Sabrina Archuleta say even if that bill is passed into law, it won't take away from consumer demand. And as long as you're able to consume in your own personal residence away from, you know, where it could be potentially offensive to the general public, I don't think that that would necessarily affect people's want to purchase recreational cannabis. And city council is scheduled to meet again on April 4th to vote on the proposed bill. Angel Salcedo, KOAT, Action 7 News.